Hello, YouTuber. Welcome to Jang's Oriental Food Workshop. I'm... No, it's Jang, is it? Yeah, it's Jang's. No, we are Chin and Chew. Yeah. The, the channel is called Jang's. Oh, all oh, right, okay. Welcome. <laughs> So if you're new to the channel, I'm Chen and this is my mum, Chu. Hello, I'm Chu. Yeah, so we've got lots Hello, of... Hello, everyone that we know. We've, I forgot what, all the people that we know. Yes. <laughs> anyway, Sorry. back to the intro. Yeah. Oh, on this channel, we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food, exactly how they do in the Chinese takeaways, because we've got lots of experience in, well, well over 70 decades in total. Obviously, I'm not 70. Decade? Yeah, 70 years. Not a decade. So a decade is 10 years, Mum. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm not that old yet. No, Gong Gong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, wait, is it 70? Yeah. No, 60 decades. Yeah. 60 decades. Six, no, 60. Six decades. Mum, you're rubbing off onto me now. So we know what we're talking about. Yes. Today's video, we are doing. Mum? What? What, what are we doing today? Uh. Young Tao fried rice. No, we're doing seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing seaweed. S uh, sorry, it's seaweed. Seaweed. Yeah, and it's really popular. Really popular, yeah, really delicious. I like it, yes. And it's not actually made of seaweed. Most of you probably already know that. We're just teaching you what to use because some, of, we've seen quite a few people on the YouTube channels and stuff saying one kind of vegetable and it's not what they would use in a takeaway. It's very close, but it's not the actual right one. So we're going to show you that today. Side note, quickly, if you don't like my tattoos, don't watch my channel. Um, don't tell me to cover up because it's, I'm not going to do good. that. It's good. And if you're going to judge someone it's by... It's called the Ebans. Yeah, it's called the Ebans. The, the tribal. <sighs> the tribal people have it. Yeah. I used to... I used to live together... Well, not live together. We used to associate with those Ebans. The Ebans are... Lovely people, yeah. Yeah, but they got scary death eyes. If you, that's what I was saying. If you're gonna judge someone on their, their appearance, it speaks far more about your character than the ink in my skin will ever speak about mine. Don't so, judge people by oh, the you cover just, of the book. What, what, you won't even let me have my moment. I had, <laughs> I had practiced that, never mind. Never okay. mind, never mind. Just, just don't watch. <laughs> or I'll block you if you say something mean. I don't care about blocking people who say mean things. On with the seaweed. Oh, and also, from now on, at the very beginning, I'll be putting um, a timestamp in. So if you want to just not listen to me and mum talk, you can skip ahead to the actual recipe. Okay. Okay. So we'll get on with that. Okay, so what you will need for this is this ground fish. Mum actually likes to eat this just as it is, don't you? Yes. With a spoon. It comes in containers like this and it's actually really expensive. Um, we can sell this in the shop in smaller quantities. We'll also sell it in a jar like this if that's what you want. You're going to need a pinch of sugar. This is just too much, but some places actually have it quite sweet. You're going to need a pinch of MSG. Now, this is fresh greens that you need. They're called fresh greens. A lot of places say savoy cabbage. That can, if you don't have fresh greens, savoy cabbage is a perfect substitute, but it's just not the same. I've seen some people use kale, but it goes really bitter. I think it's maybe because kale's got a bit of sugar in, I'm not sure why, it's just iron. lots of iron. Right, that's lots of iron then. That's why it goes really um, bitter. Now, it's important, when you get your fresh greens, the only ones you should use are the old leaves on the outside, the large ones. The leaves on the inside the smaller ones they don't crisp up for some reason it's probably because they're newer fresher tender. more tender <clears throat> they won't crisp up they'll just go soggy only the ones on the outside go crispy that's why a lot of the time um, this is actually quite expensive side dish in their Chinese takeaway because a lot of this is waste um, and like I said before a lot of them aren't chefs so they don't know what to do with the middle they just throw it away we would do something with that but uh, that's another story. Um, so yeah, this is basically all you need. Now, uh, well, Mum will show you 
how you cut this to get the shreds. Right, so right. Mum's going to remove the centres bit, aren't you? Yeah, you only want the green. This is no good. This will make about one to two portions. They do shrivel up quite a bit. Well, you get it together. Right. And it's that simple. You're gonna need about three, 400 millilitres of vegetable oil. We always use vegetable oil. I don't use olive oil because at hot temperatures it burns and you just don't use olive oil in Chinese cooking at all. It's just not a good idea. It adds a flavour that shouldn't be there. So anyway, this is vegetable oil. Never fill up your pan more than halfway. Uh, that's a great way to have it spit everywhere. So you don't want that. But here we go. You just put this on the heat and you want it on a medium temperature. We do now have a um, thermometer so we can give you temperatures. Okay, so now this is around 180. We've just checked the temperature. Any hotter, it, it won't work properly. Go on, there you go. So you literally just place it in. Step back a little bit, because this will pop everywhere. Sorry, just turning the extractor fan off. <coughs> Keep stirring it, right? Yeah, you can't walk away from this. You walk away and it burns. You want a medium heat. We've got a bowl next to us here, lined with paper. <laughs> yep. Smells good already. Smells like that classic seaweed you get in a takeaway. When it starts browning, that's about when you want to start thinking about taking it out. It's looking good. Smelling good. Yeah. Looking forward to this. Yeah. Turn off your heat. Let it drain and then Put it onto your paper to drain. You can already see the crispiness of that. You can hear it as it, well, you probably couldn't actually. <laughs> we heard it crisp as it fell into the um, bowl. So what were you saying then, Mum? Oh no, just let it cool down and you can serve. Just get as much ex the excess. Excess. Excess oil out. You don't want to crush it like Mum just did there. Yeah. Anyway, it's going to be oily seaweed. It's deep fry. That's why we like it. Right, so now all you do is you add a a pinch of MSG, and a pinch of sugar, mix this up, and then plate it up. And now you just put a pinch of this um, fish powder over the top. If you like it a lot, you put a bit more. If you don't like it too much, and then just about right. Okay, so there we go. Yes, yeah, yummy. God, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. And this is really good. nice, sprinkled Look over good. boiled rice. Yes. Right, so here we go. Um, it looks amazing. You can put chilli flakes over the top of this if you'd like to have that little bit of spice in your life. Yeah. Yeah? Spice up your life, starter. If Valentine's gone, hey? <laughs> I was just trying to think of the Spice Girls lyrics. Spice up your life. Anyway. Da -da -da -da. Mm, I like the fish powder a lot. We call it fish powder or? Mm. You'll notice that if you fry kale or Cornish greens or any sort of cabbage that's dark and then you eat it like this, it prep it the same way and it's, it's slightly more bitter. You know what? It tastes better than the takeaway one. Yummy. You... Happy eating! Happy cooking! Look, hold on, Mum. Hold on. What? You've literally got all the seaweed on your top. Oh! <laughs> it's not going in your mouth. Anyway! <laughs> Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for eating. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, by all means, become a patron. Mm. Um, patrons at $1 level get written um, quantities and stuff. They also get access to videos beforehand. And there's other tiers, other perks. So, yeah. Mm. If you Lovely. feel like supporting the channel a little bit more, that's uh, go there. If not, just keep watching because we enjoy yeah. you being here. And we're going to get on with the next video, which is actually yam chow fried rice, aka special fried rice, aka mixed meat fried rice. Yeah. And mum's going to clean off her top. Mm. Bye. Bye. It's really nice. It is really nice.